Actress Bonnie Franklin is remembered for her great talent and memorable roles on TV. She's best known for her part in One Day at a Time, which many people loved. If you have any stories or memories about her work, share them below. We'll be sharing more interesting facts about her journey soon. Share your stories and stay tuned for more. Born on January 6, 1944, in Santa Monica, California, Bonnie Franklin began her journey in entertainment. Growing up in a family with ties to show business, her early exposure sparked an interest in performing. Her parents, Samuel and Claire Franklin, were both involved in entertainment, influencing her path. During her youth, she attended Beverly Hills High School, where she gained experiences and skills that shaped her future. In the 1960s, she appeared on popular TV shows like Gidget and The Munsters, showcasing her talent. However, it was her role as Anne Romano in the sitcom One Day at a Time from 1975 to 1984 that brought her widespread recognition. The show addressed social issues and resonated with audiences, earning her praise. Throughout her career, she remained dedicated to her craft, navigating the changing entertainment industry with resilience. She took on diverse roles, leaving a lasting impact on television. In the TV series One Day at a Time, Bonnie Franklin played Anne Romano. In one episode, the story involved a boy trying smoking, which caused a fire. This storyline had been used in other shows before, but Franklin mentioned in interviews that this particular episode was among her favorites. In 2012, the show received the TV Land Innovator Award, with original cast members present to accept it. Franklin and Pat Harrington expressed gratitude to Norman Lear, the audience, and their fellow cast members. Glenn Scarpelli specifically thanked Mackenzie Phillips for being a fearless and honest role model, especially after Phillips' candid autobiography High on Arrival was published in 29. Regarding the firing of Mackenzie Phillips, Franklin mentioned in interviews that she believed it was handled appropriately. She stated, they handled that perfectly, frankly. Bonnie Franklin, known for her role as Anne Romano in One Day at a Time, had a rough start with the show's original pilot titled Three to Get Ready. Playing the character of Anne Romano, a nurse, the pilot featured only one daughter named Julie Benton. Bonnie Franklin expressed dissatisfaction with the first pilot, calling it a mess. Thankfully, it underwent a rework and the series became a success. In another part of her career, she took on the role of Janie in Gidget. The show often included actors from the Beach Party movie series. Additionally, Bonnie Franklin had a brief role in A Summer Place, adding to her acting portfolio. Returning to her role as Anne Romano in One Day at a Time, an incident during a cast meeting was significant. Mackenzie Phillips shared an incident where drug paraphernalia fell out of her pocket. Pat Harrington Jr. reportedly ignored it, but Bonnie Franklin responded differently. According to her, Mackenzie was fired, disputing the notion that the incident was overlooked. Her career, marked by roles in One Day at a Time and Gidget, reflects her ability to portray diverse characters. Despite the challenges faced in the early days of One Day at a Time, her contribution to the show and the entertainment industry remains notable. Before her memorable role as Anne Romano in One Day at a Time, Franklin had already shown her talent in entertainment. Before TV, she impressed Broadway audiences in the musical Applause. The show, like All About Eve with Lauren Buckhall, helped her career. Her great performance not only pleased theatergoers, but also got her a Tony nomination, showing she was good at acting. This showed she was skilled and hinted at her future success. Moving from Broadway to TV was important for Franklin. As Anne Romano, she became well-known across the country, making her famous. Franklin and Mackenzie Phillips, who played her daughter, had good chemistry, making the show more real. In a nice tribute, Phillips named her dog after Franklin. Besides her TV success, Franklin's acting journey started when she was young. Her early experiences set the stage for her later accomplishments. What she did in entertainment has left a lasting impression on fans and the industry. Bonnie Franklin's story is one of talent, resilience, and love for acting. Her work is still celebrated, and she's remembered as a great actor. This is the special story of an artist. Bonnie Franklin went to Beverly Hills High School, which has many famous alumni like Michael Lembeck, Angelina Jolie, Nicolas Cage, and David Schwimmer. In the show One Day at a Time, she played Mackenzie Phillips and Valerie Bertinelli's mom, Anne Romano. Even though she wasn't much older than them, the story explained that Anne got married young. Before One Day at a Time, she was in an episode of Gidget called Chivalry Isn't Dead, where she played a teenage friend of Sally Field's character. 
People really connected with her character on One Day at a Time, and she became known as a great TV mom. She brought a lot of depth to her roles and made a big impact on TV. Her work still inspires actors today. This look at her career shows how much she gave to entertainment. Indeed, she made a lasting impression on TV history, ensuring people will remember her for years to come. Bonnie Franklin, known for her role as Anne Romano in One Day at a Time, starred in a pilot called Three to Get Ready. This version didn't feature Valerie Bertinelli. Instead, Bonnie Franklin portrayed a nurse similar to the title character in the reboot. Marsha Rod played her best friend, Gail Morris. Although this version wasn't picked up, it can be watched on YouTube. Additionally, she became the stepmother of Jed Minoff and Julie Minoff. Franklin's talent wasn't limited to television. She received a Theatre World Award and a Tony Award nomination in 1970 for her performance in the Broadway musical Applause. Bonnie Franklin starred as Anne Romano in the TV show One Day at a Time. Richard Master and Mary Louise Wilson, who played David Kane and Ginny Rublicki, left the show because they felt it didn't measure up to Norman Lear's other hit, All in the Family. Master wasn't happy that his character couldn't have a romantic relationship with Anne Romano, so he asked to leave and Lear agreed. There were differing accounts, some say Lear fired Master, while others suggest Franklin wanted him gone because she felt he overshadowed her character. Wilson also departed after a year because she wasn't enjoying her role. Franklin's mother passed away a year later. Additionally, Franklin performed in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in 1999. In classic TV, Anne Romano, played by Bonnie Franklin, stands out as a significant character, showing how American families changed in the 1970s days. As the mom in One Day at a Time, she balanced toughness and sensitivity, connecting with viewers facing similar issues. But behind the scenes, reaching TV success had its challenges. In a Fox special called The Truth Behind the Sitcoms, both she and Pat Harrington Jr., who played Schneider, talked about the show's early struggles. Bonnie, dedicated to quality, even said she might leave if the scripts didn't get better. This showed her commitment to doing great work. Outside one day at a time, Bonnie Franklin showed her talent in different roles. From playing Janice in the Munsters Herman's sorority caper to directing the Munsters today, she proved she could work in different genres. But even with her varied work, the TV industry still had its tough parts. While she was on one day at a time, unexpected exits like Ginny Roblicky's sudden departure caused tension. This, along with personal dynamics, especially with Mary Louise Wilson, sometimes made things hard for Bonnie. Working together in TV can be tricky, especially with pressure to perform, which could lead to rivalries and drama on and off set. Bonnie Franklin's impact on TV will always be remembered. Her journey, with its successes and challenges, reminds us of the human stories behind TV shows, showing how powerful storytelling can be.